The last option to cover in the Practicad Command Automatic section is the option to skip if selection is empty. Now the only real way of showing you what this is used for is to design an Ultimatic that consists of a Practicad Command Automatic and run it with it checked and without it checked. And we're going to do that later in this tutorial. However, if you have not watched the tutorials on how to create Ultimatics, it is going to be a little difficult to follow, so I recommend you watch those first. To explain verbally first what it's for, if you run a command line auto, or type anything in the command line in AutoCAD, and that command doesn't have anything to apply to, in other words, there's no selection set on the drawing, and you run a command auto, AutoCAD's going to stop it because there's nothing to apply it to. And when you're creating Ultimatics with multiple Automatics and multiple Practicad commands, what happens is at any point if a Practicad command Automatic is used and there is no selection set it can be applied to, AutoCAD essentially ends up stopping our Ultimatic right where we're at at that point. And we really want to go to the next selection set. So by checking this option, it will move it forward. And we're going to demonstrate this shortly. Generally, leaving this option checked is usually never a bad thing. Therefore, every single default Practicad command auto has the option checked already. To demonstrate why skip if selection is empty can be a very important option to check. We have designed an Ultimatic called Zone Color Change. Here you can see we're under Ultimatics, and we've got a zone color change Ultimatic design. We're going to click on it. There are four automatics that are part of this Ultimatic. The first one is a simple selection automatic called Select Duct Supply. And we're going to hit the button here, Edit the Selected Automatic, so we can see what's in there. If you look inside this automatic, it is simply a selection automatic where we select fittings on the entire drawing and the condition is that zone must equal supply. That's all that automatic does. It highlights the fittings on the entire drawing if the zone equals supply. Now we're going to back up with our browser to go back into the Ultimatic and we're going to look at the next one. The next one is just a simple AutoCAD command automatic called change green. It just changes green whatever's highlighted on the drawing at that time. In other words, whatever the current selection set is, the AutoCAD command will apply the change green command automatic to that selection set. And you can see here by clicking on edit the selected automatic that we've just got the simple example we used when we were showing you how to create a Practicad command automatic. So it's a simple automatic that's going to change the color green. Now we're going to back up. The other two automatics you see here, Select Duct Return is the identical selection set as the first one, Select Duct Supply, but it only grabs ducts on the drawing if the zone equals return. And this is simply an AutoCAD command stating to change the color red. So it's a Practicad command automatic that says change everything red. So if you were to read in words how this Ultimatic should work, First automatic should be fired onto the drawing. Practicat should highlight all the duct on the drawing where zone equals supply. And that duct should now be currently selected. Then the next automatic, the Practicat command automatic to change the color green, should change whatever is highlighted from this auto green. Then what happens is after this is fired off, the next one kicks in, which highlights all the duct on the drawing where the zone equals return. And then whatever's currently highlighted from that automatic should now be changed red by this command automatic. And we go over how all this works in the tutorials for designing Ultimatics. Now what we're going to do is we're going to exit on the drawing. And before we do it, we do want to point one thing out. Both change green and change red, these command autos, have the option to skip if selection set is empty unchecked. They are not checked. So what happens is we're going to exit out. And we've got two pieces of duct on the drawing. The first one is in the zone supply. The second one is in the zone return. 
Now, the way this automatic should work is it should simply highlight everything on the drawing that's supplied duct first, change it green, then highlight everything on the drawing that's return zone and change it red. So what we're going to do is fire off this ultimatic called zone color change. And when we click once, we're going to do it now, you can see the video grabbing one at a time and changing the color. So what did it do? It highlights all the duct on the drawing where zone equals supply. That's this one piece. That now becomes the current selection set. Then it fires off the second automatic, change whatever's highlighted green. Then it grabs the third automatic, which is highlight everything on the drawing with zone return. Then it grabs just this duct. Then it changes whatever's highlighted red. So the ultimatic worked fine. However, what happens if we undo what we just did and we delete a selection set? In other words, we take the duct here, that supply, and we delete it. Well, what's going to happen when we go to run the automatic now is Practicad is going to fire off the automatic that says select duct on a drawing if zone equals supply. And it's going to grab nothing because there is nothing on the drawing now with zone equals supply. And then it's going to kick in the second automatic, which is supposed to change whatever is highlighted green. But because there's nothing highlighted, when that command automatic gets typed into the command line, AutoCAD is going to find the selection set empty, and it's going to stop our ultimatic right there. It will never be able to go to the third line of the ultimatic that says, highlight all the fittings on the drawing with zone equals return, and then change it red. And you're going to notice that right now we're going to fire off this automatic by clicking zone color change once. And you can see that we're stuck. It never completed the ultimatic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple change to the command automatics we just used. We're going to go into the library and then we're going to go into the section where we can change the option for skip if selection is empty. So we're going to click on change green. We're inside the ultimatic. We're going to click on change green and we're going to say edit it. And we're going to check the button skip if selection is empty. We're going to hit save. And we're going to come to the browser and we're going to back up. And then we're going to go into the command automatic change red. And we're going to hit edit the selected automatic. And we're going to check the option here. So we're now adjusting those two automatics. Now, by adjusting this simple option, we're giving permission that when PractiCAD fires off the AutoCAD command automatic to change green or red, if there is nothing on the drawing that's selected, we're giving PractiCAD permission to jump to the very next automatic on the line. So what's going to happen now is we're going to exit out. We've only got one duct on the drawing. It's in the return zone. We're going to fire off the automatic zone color change. Practicad is going to use the first automatic and say select all the duct on the drawing where zone is supply. And there's going to be nothing there. Then the second automatic is going to say change everything green that's highlighted. And there's going to be nothing there. And though AutoCAD is going to stop right there, PractiCAD, because we have the option that says skip over this command automatic if there's no selection set on the drawing, it's going to go to the third automatic on our list and it's going to highlight the duct that's in the return zone and then it's going to fire the fourth automatic that says change it red. So right now we're just going to click on this button once, zone color change. And it runs through the whole sequence and you can see now it completes the second portion of the ultimatic even though the first portion had no selection set. So it is a very subtle option, but it's very important most of the time to keep it checked because some of the ultimatics you're going to build are going to be very long and they're going to consist of AutoCAD or PractiCAD command automatics. And those command automatics are not always going to have a selection set on the drawing. So you don't want the ultimatic to stop. You want it to keep moving forward. So you keep those boxes checked.